In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a fuse in a timey. Don't ask me how I know how to do this. Suffice it to say that I blew a fuse in my timey and uh, Fred encouraged me to figure out how to replace the fuse and so I did it and so now I'm going to show you how. You flip it over and in the back you've got two long screws that are holding on your printer module. So you undo those, you kind of got to give them a little lift. So you pull them out, they look like that. Here's another one. And now, be careful when you pull the printer module off because there's a little ribbon cable that connects the printer to the timer part. And so there's a little thing that comes out it doesn't pull it doesn't pull out this way it pulls you shove it that way be gentle and it'll just come and you'll figure out how, where it co where how you remove it so now i've got my timer with the printer removed and when i removed that it exposed two screws right there so there's one screw And there's another screw. So now we're up to four screws that we've removed. Where are the other screws? They are going to be in the battery case. So you open up the battery case and there's screws five and six that are the final screws you got to take out. So there's screws five and six. Now very, very gently, you want to just sort of slide the front off of the back and you're going to feel some resistance and be persistent, be persistent but be gentle because there's this line of pins that's kind of hard to see in the video that make me really, really nervous, like they'd be really, really easy to bend. And they go into a series of holes here that are not well marked. And we'll have to see that when we put that back together. So now I've got the part that's got the battery case on it. Flip that over and you go, but where's the fuse? Well. I had to ask Fred on this one and then I had to figure it out on my own. The fuse is right there. This right there, that is the fuse. Okay, so what that says is it's got an L with an F and then it says a T and a 2 amp. Okay, so I had never seen fuses that tiny before. Fred told me to go to Newark and look around and so I did some guess and what I come up and came up with was what I really wanted to do was I wanted to go to newark.com and then what I wanted to search for was a little fuse and I wanted a fuse SMD 2 amp slow blow. That's what I wanted to search for. So I go to newark.com. Sorry, let's go this way. Three steps. I went to newark.com. I looked for a manufacturer, Little Fuse, and then I did a search on Fuse SMD 2 Amp Slow Blow, and it got me this little package of, of six, because that's what I ordered, six. They're a little bit more than a dollar a piece. <clears throat> so, and I just wanted to have more on hand. Okay, so I'd actually replace this fuse. 
So this one should be good. But basically what you, all you gotta do is just pick the old one out with a pair of tweezers and then put the new one back with a pair of tweezers and make sure it's set in there. And now you need to very, very carefully take this line of pins, take that line of pins and line it up very gently with the holes in the other part. And when it goes, it just kind of seats very well, very nicely and don't torque it, just kind of gently push it together. And so now you've got it gently pushed together. Take your small screws right there. Right there. Take your medium screws right there. And right there. Now, take your printer, take your little ribbon cable, and slide it back. This is again a, a little pin thing that you want to be gentle with. It's hard to see on the video, but I take my ribbon cable and I put it back in. Slide those parts together. Take my long screw, there's one. There's two. And then I give it power. Well, I got a paper jam. And it's working. And that's how you replace a fuse in a timey.